Hello everyone. Just give me a minute to find the video. Uh -huh. There we go. One minute please. Takes a bit of a moment. Ha. For some reason my iPad always has it set that the video, well the post that comes up first on like my feed when I go to find my video on Monday nights is the last one that's liked, not the last one that's been posted. I don't know how I've set it up. It's, it's a cool feature, but uh, takes a bit of an extra section. Like a bit of an extra second. See if we can try and improve this a little bit. Hello, Debbie. One minute. Oh, oh, right, there we are. Right, we're here now. And I thought we could do kind of like a feather themed scrapbooking. Oops, not art journal page, not scrapbooking. Feathered theme art journaling page because you know what? Why not? I've got this, my inspiration tonight comes from this piece of napkin. Well, hello, Di, Pam, and Tash, and Debbie, and, and Michelle. Um, we are also live over on YouTube. So if your device doesn't like Facebook, you can hop over to YouTube. If um, your device doesn't like YouTube, you can hop over to Facebook. Either option. And if either one works. Uh, so let's get this started. I am just trying to remove layers. Karis and I were talking about this. Apparently if you use a bit of tacky tape it helps you get it off. But I didn't prepare that far ahead. So just coming in and there we go. Removing that layer first is key before we get any paint on our hands. So yeah, I thought we could do type of like a feather type thing. Lots of collage. Lots of paint, you know, like the usual. But let's get started now. I don't know. I feel like we just need to get something on there to get us started because it's, you know, one of those classes. So I'm just looking at my colours now. I feel like if I could just get some yellow on there, we'd be alright. So let's just come in and let's just grab some yellow jar. This is just yellow watercolour. Literally in a stick. I'm just gonna come and rub that on, and I'm not even gonna activate it. I'm gonna leave it there. There we go. Not even gonna activate it. Um, just gets it on there. It's a bit of pigment, you know. A bit of like a watercolor crayon type situ. And then oh, I'm scared. I promise you it won't be a scary one at the end, if it helps. It's going to be nice, very calming, blue, spring. I'm really scared of birds. Hmm. Can't judge, I'm still scared of the dark and I am 23. I'm also scared of the vacuum cleaner, clowns, um, and a bunch of other things in life, so yeah. Fun facts. I'm also scared of swimming in the ocean, but I will swim in a pool any damn week. It's like the endless thing with the eels and sharks. And stuff. Anyway, alrighty oh. So let's just come in and tear up this beautiful piece of napkin. It is like these napkins are absolutely beautiful. I don't know where my parents got them from, but I know that we've got them. So it will come in your custom mixed media bundle if you so choose to purchase it. Here we go. Looking excellent. Looking snazzy, apart from the fan. Um, one minute. What am I feeling? That this is due to walk past any minute. Yeah. Can you turn the fan down? 
please okay maybe not off i don't want to uh, yeah we'll move a bit off actually do you want me to try my um yeah you can get your wood before we add paint it's probably safer before we add paint oh what's this vegetable thing that's mine i'm gonna make a card out of it how i die can i use some of your vegetables you can paint your own vegetables. Where's your award? Uh, good question. Well, I think you're going to talk to mum. Oh, I think it's on my mum's Okay, well, quick, go and grab your award so then you can show everyone before we add paint. Amelia got an award today at school. Yeah, where did my award go? How about you go and ask the parents? Right, and let's just grab out our behoop. I'm preparing our collage first. Hello. Oh. Hello, Hello Chloe. Vegetables. Right, let's. Vegetables. Vegetables, yes, vegetables. Did you show them your vegetables? No, I have not shown them my vegetables, but Amelia. You show your vegetables? Amelia's trying to claim them, so I think I need to move them to a higher place. To higher. Can't I just cut them? No! Show the vegetables. Come on. Vegetables. So the zucchinis were stamped with a zucchini, but then slightly enhanced. There's my vegetables. You show them your certificate that you got. What does it say? Hold up, hold up. That's got teacher's name. It says for the organization responsible. Organized. Organized, responsible, and enthusiastic way you go about your learning. You make the most of every. Opportunity. opportunity opportunity and strive to achieve your best keep on shining it just says keep shining it says keep shining keep shining Shine. sorry wait we're not allowed to sing on these videos oh, I need to give that right. card. yes so she got an award oh hello Karen L. so yeah they're saying congrats bubbin I'm saying congrats sweetie Petey. okay do you still have that zucchini? No, I'll put the zucchini into the compost because it shriveled up on my desk and it was attracting ants. Right. I hope you didn't feed it to the chickens. Uh, would it be bad? Probably. Was well, it like watercolour paint? Too bad. Bad, 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 bad. Chickens are invincible, aren't they? Yes, I'm very proud of Miss Amelia. Mum's got some good photos to scrapbook from it. As we all know, every single event should be used to its proper advantage. So I'm just coming in and I'm feathering my little boho elements. I'm trying to do this all first because I imagine once I start gluing, I don't want to stop. Um, just getting myself into a bit of a group. Been a long day, had work. And I woke up at 4.30 to, you know, go for a pool swim and a bit of a run beforehand and, yeah. So let's get into this. So we're just coming in. Anyone else had a, a good day, a long day, a Monday? I think everyone's had a Monday. Well, unless you live in a different country and a different time zone. Well, then you could possibly be on a different day. Than us Australians, which go use. Woo! And then let's just come in here. Whoop. Whoop. I'm doing prep and learning how to teach. Go, Chloe! That must be fun. Prep. Do you guys have to, I, I've always wondered this about the homeschooling system. Is it like a Pacific system or do you just choose like a program set and go with that? Went to work with Monday Monday-itis and hung around all day. It was one of them. <laughs> one more thing worked. Two did it. <laughs> And repeated all day till knock off. Oh dear. Karen can know the feeling. It's like those days when the internet just decides to stop working. The day before the internet was completely fine. And you've got the same amount of reception as the day before, but for some reason 
it's not going to work that day. You, you just, you sit and they go on, why? Why? Not again. But you're, I am slightly editing these as well. I hope your day gets better, Karen. Or at least your week. Just think, tomorrow you can't have Monday honors because Monday is finished. But you can have Tuesday honors. They tell us what they want us to do. Best question. Oh, fun. Well, at least English is being taught by someone else. Which is great. Right. Yeah, Monday, I just know the feeling. Right, there we go. Dear Lord, GBs. Here we go. Just coming in. I didn't realize how many elements were on this piece of rice paper. I thought this would be an easy feathering project. We did get one bit of good news because they are testing equipment alarms all day on Thursday. We can work at home on Thursday. Oh, go Karen. Work in PJ day. Yes. Actually, I remember um, when Brisbane had one of its lockdowns in 2021, Milton and I were uh, still living together in Brisbane. And I remember this one specifically because um, Milton and I had both organised to go to parties that weekend. I know, it's very rare that both of us had organised to go out somewhere that weekend. So we both had, like, soft drink and um, Tim Tams and popcorn and, you know, and I had baked a cake for some reason. Anyway, we had lots and lots of food in our house and, um, well, in our apartment. And we didn't eat it all on the weekend. We're like, no, we'll, we'll pace it out because, you know, bound to be. But next weekend we'll be out and all the rest of it. By Thursday, they announced that we wouldn't be out by the weekend. So here, Milton and I am on a Friday. I was had lectures all day and tutorials. And Milton had um, work all day. So, like, each one of us had um tim tams and after every like meeting and every and after every like goal was achieved we would do like a tim tam cheer across the room and yeah it was great and we were wearing our pjs bottoms down obviously um we had good shirts on at the top i don't think i actually brushed my hair i don't know if i bothered with that um but yeah no. good days good days remembering them Oh, I do. I did enjoy them oh, for my remote work, though. Currently, because I work at the shop, I don't do PJ days for that. I just <sighs> wear good clothing and often have a cold almond milk chocolate, which is basically almond milk nearly frozen with a lot of chocolate powder in it. Next to me, and a bowl of water. Right here we go. We must be getting close. I feel like I definitely want there to be a lot of um, collage on this because the feather will look better if we have a lot of collage. And I think we might get the shape of our feather down before we start pasting things everywhere just so then we kind of know what we're aiming for. It's also easy to draw on things before, you know, you start adding layers to it because, yep. It's going to be wet when we're going in, adding the details, so. Here we go. Yep, yep. Here we go. Um, we also are, just a quick heads up, updating our blog. So our blog's going to be a bit more interactive for you ladies. We're going to try and make it so then it's like a class directory for um, people to know what tools they're going to need before class, uh, before they go in and watch a class that's already been recorded. So say you've got a kit from like 2021, we're going to try and have a photo of the class or a sneak peek of a class if it's one of the subscription group classes. And then um, like a list of tools that you're going to need, um, some suggestions like for example when it's like a longer class. 
I do know that we have a mini book class that goes over two and both videos are about two hours long. Um, we're going to have like just some suggestions, especially for people that need to get up and down and all the rest of it, when would be the best stop time to stop the video and all that. So we are going through and making edits to the blog so then it's a bit more like that. There are going to be some fun posts in there, but there's also going to be those ones that kind of um, help you out a bit more, especially if you're going back to rewatch some classes with direct links and all the rest of it in case your phone's not completely catable, um, uh, compatible with QR codes as well. So um, we're updating it just as a bit of heads up. It's going to be a long process. Don't worry if you get confused. Um, well, I hope it's not going to be confusing. I hope it's going to be nicer, but yeah. Need nice comfy clothes for the shop for long days. Oh, mate, I dress like a dork every day. I am comfortable. Um, anyone who knows me knows that I don't dress for work very well. Um, I dress for comfortability. Not to be, you know, I'm mainly at the back manufacturing anyway for my parents when I'm working for them. And then all other times I am, um, when I work for Stormboy, I'm like, you know, in the office area. So not many people see me. So I dress like a dog. And I am so comfortable. It is great. Let's grab out our lead pencil. And as soon as I said that, I realized, nope, I found my lead pencil. Oh, it's just not very sharp. Interesting how that works. And I think just for, we normally do something landscape. I want to do portrait tonight. And then see how that goes. And let's grab a feather out for size. We've got our stem. There we go. Tough bits. Just look tough bits there. I think that looks like a feather, don't you? So all I've gone in is I've literally drawn a massive J. Don't know if you've seen that. I've drawn a massive J there. And then I've come in and I've done like these U type shapes coming out of my stem. I've just some J. He's at the end. I often dress casual clothes and I prefer. Fair enough, Karen. Sounds about right. All right, here we go. So let's just, I just have this really cool fort and it is a cool technique you can do with this turbo tacky glue from Couture. And I think we might do it tonight. I did use it on my leaves canvas, but that's at work. Um, so we're just going to come in and we're actually going to just... So this is on uh, one of the like heat mats, sure ones that you can use as your messy mat, that's it. Um, or if you don't have one of these, you can use cling wrap. Just gonna come in. Don't worry, they'll dry clear. They're not going to be like a hundred percent, but it's just about making some random shapes and we'll come in and peel them off at the end of class and stick them down and they'll be like some cool raised 3D bits. I'm just trying to put that back in mum's area because it is mum's. Right, here we go. Hmm. 
All right, let's get started. Time to start sticking. So let's come in with our gel medium. And our gelato is going to mix with our gel medium a little bit because it is a, like a watercolour type crayon. It's just a bit fancier. It's like more aimed for my age group because it's like a lipstick um, holder type thing. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Um, no, I don't want you, Siri. No, please leave me alone. Oh, dear. I've had Siri activate on my... Okay. Oh, thank Christ. Sorry about that. I hope I don't get pinged for sound. Right, so there we go. So we're just coming in and doing a three-layer process where we come down... We put a little bit of our gel medium down, put a little bit on the back. If you can, obviously if you've got too much glue on your fingers, that one there's not the over issue, it's the one on the piece of paper and the one on top that you desperately need to do. Right, there we go. We're just coming in. All right, and we just want to do a bit of a full coverage. Knowing where your feather is going to be is kind of important, but the idea is just to get that brief little over bit all covered. And the other idea is as well, so we're coming in, and because we've got all of our collage pre, like, ripped and torn and feathered and already cut because our lovely cameos cut the colour cuts, we can just come in and, yeah. Go for it. All right. Sorry, um, just a brief moment of silence then. Okay, thought, thought. okay, here we go. Keep coming in. And layer after layer. That shaker sound is my mum peeling acrylic in the other room. Now, lounge room, she is watching tea, as we call it, while peeling acrylic. It's a family fun activity. Okay, and then I did have to quickly change when I got home because I was at a youth council meeting and had a youth council shirt on. Um, and yeah, quickly changed out of that because I didn't think they would appreciate me getting paint on my youth council shirt before we even had an official event that I went to in it. I thought, you know, probably not a good idea. Um, 
I do know that I'm an artist and it is an occupational hazard, but at the same time, you know, I want to try and get off on the right foot. So here we go, just a bit more gel medium coming in. Oh. So it doesn't matter where your bits go, just as long as we're coming in. We're getting everything stuck. Okay, and then just coming in. I feel like I should keep my gel medium up on my desk, maybe. Just a tinsy bit. And then, so, what we want to do next is we kind of want to choose what our main color is gonna be and then from there we're not going to use that color that's gonna well our main two colors from there we're not really going to use that color we're going to use every other one but that so if, let's just say we used for example blue and green as our main colors from then we wouldn't use them with the paint layers we'd use them over everything else. Then when we came in and did the last step, which I don't know how to explain it exactly, so it's going to be a bit of a surprise um, until I can visually show it to you. Um, well, I guess the best way to call it would be like an intentional wash. Um, we're going to use all the other colors to go with it. So if anyone's got suggestions for our main color, um, we did do a mainly green page last week, so, and it doesn't have to match the colors we've already got down. Like I said, the yellow was just there to get some color on there first, really get us a bit more planted. I don't know how much more collage our page could probably take. I'm guessing not much more, so we might pull up stumps after these two items. There we go. All right, let's pull up stumps. We've got a fairly well covered page there. You can barely see where we drew the feather. That's okay. Now what we want to come and do is we only want to add Like, realistically, the more you add to this, the better it's going to look in the end. I know that's hard to believe now, but it is the case in this, like, scenario. So the more we add, the better it looks in the end. So let's try for maybe if we go for our main colours being maybe blue and yellow or yellow and purple. We could do yellow and purple. That would look probably really nice if we did. Mm, but yellow is a hard one.
Let's do yellow and purple, and then we'll see how we go. So now we want to get out yellow and purple. So let's get out our other colors, the ones that aren't yellow and purple as such. Really come in there with our other colors. Where's our greens now? Let's just add a few things. We're probably not going to use all these colors because then it's going to be a little bit difficult. Be a good main color. I think maybe purple and yellow. We'll see how we go with the yellow. I'm con I think it would look great but it's going to be a bit of a hard one. Just as a heads up. Bit of a like ah, why did we do this to ourselves moment? But that'll be fine. It will be all good. So let's go with pink, blue, a bit of this colour because, you know, we need every colour under the rainbow on this page, you know. That's how it works. There we go. That's what happens to your paints of tube, by the way, when they get, when the heat stores in them humidity, heat, you know, hot climate does it to it. So there we go, and there's that one. Now, let's get started. At this point, we don't really want any, like, super formed, um, patterns if that makes sense we don't really want I don't really want stencils at this point I think it might be a little bit too formed for me I just want kind of or if you are going to use stencils like the basic ones like dots and stuff so we're going to start off strong perhaps and let's come in get paintbrush It is one of those days, I think it's the heat that's getting to everyone. We had a little bit of rain here this afternoon in Gladstone. Um, it broke it for a few minutes, which was, it was nice because it was getting just a little bit ridiculous, but yeah, it was good. Still feeling right. That would be interesting. Right, here we go. I don't think our glue elements are going to be done this week. We'll have to use them next week. They dry clear and then you can stick them on as like 3D elements. But we've got to wait. They're just a little bit thinner. Well, they're a lot thinner than the clear acrylic shapes, which is what I like about doing like little glue dots. But also means you can paint them a completely different colour to what's around it and you don't have to be super controlled just go in and clean them on then
There you go. And then we just come in with this neon pink now. Mix that with orange, oops a daisy. Let's grab our pink. Just trying to do it so then you can see what I'm actually painting here. This might seem completely insane to do this much like randomness to the page, but I promise you it will hopefully look good in the end. we go. It's just continuing to add some paint. Just so that not all of them are in the pink bit, in the darker pink. This is kind of a similar thing to what I did with the leaves, but a shortened version, I think. The leaves canvas that mum was showing me all day last night. It's similar, but kind of a shorten one with not so many layers and not so much wetness i had to walk away several times because i just made it way too wet to work okay there we go, I think we've got enough pink diffies, and then that is what I call them by the way, diffies. I don't know if it's highly inappropriate, but you know, that's what it is. And let's come in and grab this blue now, because we're doing a portrait. Page, I just figured these Gilly lines might just elongate the pattern a little bit more. Yeah, you just keep spreading, keep going until your paintbrush is empty. I 
I do tend to pour a little bit extra out during my paint classes, but after my lives, I add it to one of my canvases that I'm working on or art journal page outside of class I'm working on. Um, for example, uh, this bad boy I've been working on for several months. He just gets a bit added to him every so often. As you can see, I sewed the canvas back together because I kind of damaged it a little bit way too much when I poured some stuff on it. So it just gets a bit of paint added to it whenever I have any extra bits. And the week that we had crackle paste a few months ago, I added some of that to it, the leftovers. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, Karen, you were in an actual note. Go you. <laughs> oh my god, Red Shop Clan, please excuse that lateness. <laughs> uh, mm, tired Tuesday. See, look, I'm telling you, alliteration. It's the perfect thing, but yeah. So that's why I do tend to pour out a little bit extra. It's also kind of a bit of a safety net. That way then if I just need to quickly grab a colour at the end. I'm not just trying to pour out a little bit, but yeah. Okay, there we go. So now we're just going to put that down and let's grab out our two main colours, purple and yellow. And we're also going to need some modelling paste. And that's just going to thicken the paint a little bit so then we get a nice border. Um, let me just grab out the purple and the yellow real quick. and yellow. Right. The hard part with yellow will be is getting it to the point of being opaque. <laughs> Hello dad. Um, whereas purple it won't actually be too difficult. Um, it should already be pretty dark to be able to make like a clear difference. The yellow is going to be the it's going to take a little bit of work, but it was not for a challenge. So let's just come in, grab out some modeling paste. Look at that, getting better at using a palette knife. Woo! That was my goal back in 2020, was to learn how to use a palette knife correctly. We're now in 2023. Still have a few moments. Nothing like a continual progress. Right, here we go. So we've got him, him. Right. I do want my favourite paintbrush for this. And I'm very attached to this paintbrush. I lost it once. I did have two of it too, but I lost one of them. But I'm very attached to it. I will fully admit to being attached to my paintbrushes. Now, so I just want... A little bit of our purples. Oh, that's awesome. I would print that one out, Chloe. Copy and paste it into a Word document. Print it out. Laminate it. So then whenever you need something like it, just whip it out. Don't put a date on it, though. So, then, you know, it's forever useful. No date. Funny part, we're making an art page today, and she was really worried halfway through <laughs> oh Karen you just add and feel to the fire lovely you know what trouble make her at all right here we go so let's just come in and hit that real quick
burnt something to the edge of my hate to what smells a bit funky Ooh, a lot funky mm, okay and i've just glued down a little piece of um napkin over there because you know i'm just coming up all right more general cas notes very useful <laughs> Fair, fair. Right, so let's come and do I think we'll do the inside first because the inside's gonna be yellow. So if we come and do the inside, or oh, do you reckon the feather be purple and the outside be yellow? Yes, Actually, yeah. Let's do the outside first in yellow and then we'll come and do the purple. So we're just gonna mix our two yellows first. They're gonna Pretty much form the marigold back up again, but that's okay. And then that's our washing machine complaining. Just gonna see if I can find my lines a little bit and just come in. And then There we go. Because some of our bits and pieces aren't a hundred percent dry, this is gonna mix a little bit. This was the potential problem with yellow. We'll be fine. If it does get a little bit too much for you, just come in with a spare piece of gauze and lift it up. There we go. Starting to form a little bit there. Just come in. Remember to do I use. If you're scared about this bit, just let it dry fully and then come in and do it after drawing your lines back in with a pencil. Let's just grab a bit more of this yellow. I am going to plonk it right where I want it to, just because my yellow over here has got orange in it. 
I am going to just dry out my paintbrush on my denim pants or my denim overalls. Look at that, we've already got orange back in it. Right. Now let's come in with our purple. Actually, let's just dry this a little bit more. I would ideally like it to be a little bit more dry. Just so then we can do these bits a bit easier. Grab this purple again. Is the orange right there? This orange is just like pure. It's a little bit overpowering. Right, we've got the center of our feather. Before we get too far, let's come in and do the next little bit here. So, just going to come in, pick up the excess. Realistically, anything that's a bit wet. There we go. Hopefully that helps, and then it's coming with this lovely pastel. Wait a little bit. And we're just going along that edge that we formed, trying to make it a little bit more prominent without lifting up 
paint my hands below. I've been 100% successful tonight. I was thought it would be warm enough to do this technique on my video. Obviously, it's not paint warming weather, it's just wet warming weather. There is a little bit of a difference. Humidity, all of that jazz. Right, and then we're just going to come in and dab it. And then There we go. Nearly there. Don't really like how the paint's moved underneath it, but we will live. Right, now let's just come in and do some lifting up. And then Okay, and then let's come in now and Just some white modeling paste. Just trying to balance it out. I really thought our paint layers would dry in time. They didn't. It's still kind of a cool effect, but I definitely want to work on it just a little bit more. Ok, 
Okay, and then we definitely need to dry this, but let's also dry hmm, a paint pen. So let's just dry this real quick. And then we need, I think, a black. Oh, so I'm following the yellow with um, this marigold paint here. So I just, it, it definitely all moved. The paint definitely moved. Hmm. Not always a fun experience. Okay, let's see. How we go doing a little bit of a resurrecting point. It will look good, it just needs a bit of work. So let's see. Yeah, they're not going to be dry in time. Right. Next week's class. Just coming in and adding a bit of an imperfect edge on some of these bits. And I am keeping my nib of my pen like extra moist as you can see by like trying to force ink down at a a little bit faster than what it normally does and this is just so then the more wet my nib is the less likely I am to get the paint underneath it on and that is what I am really focused on is trying to make sure that the paint pen doesn't die from this glass
here we go. Just adding. Some kind of like details on either side. So you can see. And then I'm going to come in. See if this, this is not the black one that works. Our family does have a few dead black paint pens just because they get used for outlines in kids' classes and we tend to lose one or two every kids' class. And it's not the kids' fault. Um, it's the first time using paint pens more often than not. It's bound to happen. Um, and honestly half the time it's because they've run out of ink. Literally. Our silver one doesn't work anymore because it's run out of ink. Here we go. Uh, thank you. I know this seems a little bit silly, but we are adding shadows to the dark colour. But not everywhere. So just random little bits and pieces. We're starting to look a little bit like a feather, aren't we? Oh, miracles have occurred. Things have happened. And we are back. Right. I know the background now has a feather in it. It only took a little bit of effort. Minus the little. Right, here we go. Let's come and add some highlights now. Okay. 
Right, here we go. And then let's come in. And add some yellow inside our feather. I know it is quite late for you, all of you in daylight saving states. I am nearly there, I promise. It's about making it through the hard stage getting it to this point where you can just have some fun because you have done the hard work Okay. And now it's only 9.15 here and I can write myself a note to stay up for a while. Oh, you can hear no on the piano. I oh, yes. Mom. Can you get on and shut the music door? I'm gonna get pink for sound. I didn't even think. It's very beautiful. The ladies love it, but we won't be able to fight the sound bit. Sorry, we're just currently getting penalised for background sound currently. an original piece of music. Oh, okay. Then we're all good. It no. Was original. No one can lay claim. It's no original. It's no original. There you guys go. Okay, he's a Beethoven and a half. Actually, not Beethoven. I'm like a Mozart. Go on, help us. Right, here we go. It is, it is beautiful, it's just way, have been getting penalised for sound and I didn't know it was an original because he writes that good of music, you don't know, but yes, um, this music is wonderful. And there we go. I actually think we're done. No, rolls don't make much sense half the time anyway. But there we go. So we have our feather. Um, as you can see, the collage layer, you can still see it, but not 100%. 
that's kind of what I did with the leaves except when I did like the green wash on my leaf one the paint underneath didn't move like it did with the yellow and the purple to not with the orange so um it did make it a bit more interesting I'll fully admit to that um but thank you all for coming we will be oh, thank you we will be back tomorrow morning in the March class group for um card making it's the first class in the March class group if you've bought a kit subscription or a combo of the kits please make sure you've gone to your emails clicked on the March group link and um as um the classes start tomorrow on it so very important and if you haven't, do it tonight or at least half an hour before class so then mum can let you win in time. But thank you all for coming. Thank you for your lovely comments. Um, thank you for appreciating Amelia's award and for Noah's music in the background. I didn't know it was Noah's. If it was, if I did, he'd still be playing it, obviously. Um, but, yeah. But thank you all and uh, we shall see you all during the week. Oh, don't forget, Cybercrop is still running. You've got another week to enter, or a week and a half to enter, and you've got, um, and this weekend we've got another super weekend, and it's Forever Friends, and it's going to be amazing. The collections look absolutely beautiful. So we shall see you all during the week. Lots to come, and uh, have a great night, everyone. Bye!